Hello everybody and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss um, or show you how to create a color palette from an image. Uh, let's say you're working on uh, a sketch. This is one I did uh, just the other day. It took me about 15 minutes and of course it's old Mickey. And uh, in order to create a palette, a color palette, uh, so that to have one to use to when I start to uh, <clears throat> paint this guy, uh, I can create a uh, one from this image. So uh, there are a couple of ways to do it. Um, the first thing you need to do is have uh, your palettes dialog open and uh, if you do not have your palettes dialog open you can go to windows and then dockable dialogs and uh, then scroll down to palettes anyway um, so all I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to right click on uh, one of my palettes here and I'm just gonna choose import palette and we have a dialog window open and you have a couple of options here uh, you have a gradient uh, but just below that is image and I'm just gonna click that image and uh, what will happen is uh, it will take the image that you have up and create a uh, palette from that um, but uh, in this case uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and I'm going to go to the layer that I have uh, this image on I'll just go up here and I'll use uh, my rectangle select tool and I'm going to draw a selection around my image there and then I'm going to go back over here and right click on my palette again and import palette <clears throat> and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on image and then I'm going to uh, choose this second selection here uh, selected pixels only and what that'll do is grab uh, your selected pixels and then we have some other options down here a uh, number of colors well I've got way too many colors here uh, a lot of those are repeat colors and uh, I don't want all those colors in there I just want some base colors so I'm just gonna uh, turn down the number of colors and hopefully you can see that uh, on uh, as I'm recording uh, that that number of colors here in your preview window is is uh, going down. Also, uh, the number of columns, of course, is uh, how many columns your palette will have. I like to keep it fairly small um, so we can have a, a bigger um, color swatches in our palette and then uh, the interval uh, I'm, I assume that uh, changing the interval will skip every so many pixels I'm not sure that's how it works um, anyway now you can see the as I change the intervals that uh, every so many um, it will pick up more uh, more of the colors in the uh, in this image so I'm gonna oh let's see I'm gonna use about uh, an interval of four and I will go ahead and click import and then here in uh, oh, where'd it go Well, maybe I messed up. Let's go ahead and try that again. Import palette. Image. Selected pixels only. And then uh, 
turn this to about four turn my columns down so we have bigger bigger swatches I'm going to uh, reduce my colors number of colors maybe I should just use the slider and then go up there we go say import oh there it is <clears throat> okay I didn't find it uh, the first time so anyway I can uh, now that um, I have that new palette uh, it's called Mickey XCF1 and then I can just double click it on it and my and uh, my palette will open up and uh, so when I get ready to start painting uh, I have all the colors from that image uh, without having to jump over into this uh, without having to jump over into uh, that layer and uh, grab those colors from there so also uh, another thing I'm, I'm finding uh, pretty common um, Let's go ahead and deselect that layer. Um, a, what a lot of artists do is uh, to create a palette they might go into uh, the reference image here and uh, just begin to uh, pick some of those colors there and this just uh, Let's see here. What am I doing? Okay, uh, pick those colors and then go into a layer and just and just uh, paint them on onto the palette here somewhere. Um, I still have a lot to learn about about doing this myself. Um, anyway, uh, that's going to be about it for this tutorial. I I hope that uh, helps you to uh, create a color palette from image you might also use uh, this technique uh, let's say you uh, have an have a project you're working on and you have let's say for instance a uh, landscape uh, that you've just sketched out and you want and you find an image um, on the internet or whatever that uh, you kind of like the color scheme for you could grab that image and then create a color palette for it and then uh, kind of will help you establish a, a mood or a, or a certain uh, feeling from from that image uh, that you would like uh, like uh, your uh, sketch or, or painting to have anyway sorry I stumbled uh, a little bit there at the end uh, all over my words uh, but anyway that's about it for this tutorial uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to uh, share it um, like this video and and don't forget to subscribe so that's about it have a great day everybody